What's up guys, this is Blocks of Fury coming at you with another video. Um, today I have a tutorial on automatic um, harvesting a cobblestone slash smooth stone generator. Now I've been running this for a little while and I already have 24 smooth stone. So it's been on for like uh, maybe 5-6 minutes. And yeah, that's pretty good yield. So this can be used completely like on a server offline. Um, as long as you use one of these, a world anchor, this just makes sure that the chunk is still loaded as if there was a player there even when you're not there. So just put this on, on top and then you'll be good. This may be a rather lengthy video because it's very complex. Um, so, um, I started out and I was looking through the, um, the mod that's the conveyor belts. And I noticed that the assembly line mod had the arm bot and the arm bot when I was testing I realized that it destroys the blocks that it passes over so I thought I could exploit this and make an automatic cobblestone generator and that's exactly what I did um, I'll get into the guts of that but essentially what's happening is there's four cobblestone generators in a circle um, then the arm bot is constantly swinging around and just knocks them down onto conveyor belts now, it's kind of a glitch. I don't know if it's a glitch or if it's just an exploitation of a feature. But what happens when you knock them is usually they'll go down. Um, you'll notice that most of the cobblestone is going to come from that little area, which is underneath the cobblestone generators. However, you'll notice that some, like these, are actually popping out in random spaces in the air above it. This is because it's still a, um, it's a glitchy system. And yeah, they just pop out in random places. So that's why I've put this little ring of conveyor belts around. Um, these are just really simple. They just catch um, what comes out and then pass it on. And yeah, so that's simple. If you just want cobblestone, that's as much as you need. And don't worry about what I'm about to say. Uh, I will go into what's underneath here, but I'll go into that later in this episode. First, I'm going to go into this. So as you'll see, down here, cobblestone comes up, and then it passes here, and it, when it passes this detector, it's going to send a redstone impulse, you'll see it right now, and that's going to go through this machine. I don't know if this has already been made, I know that devices like this have been made, but I decided to make my own for this um, purpose. So this is, counts how many times a block has passed in front of it. So what's going to happen is a uh, redstone pole is going to be sent here now this is going to test if there's a block here if there is a block here then this pulse will be passed on to the next one how um and if there's not then it's going to wait a little bit and then it's going to power this um this is going to push it right here so that next time a redstone pulse comes it's going to go through there and it's actually going to be able to go through the block as you can see right there when it goes through the block it's going to come right here if there's a block here then it'll, the signal will go on. But if there's not, then it's going to pass through here. The next time, if it's passed through here, the next time it will be passed through. You'll see this next, um, so it's it's on three right now. So three, a um, redstone signal is going to come in a little bit. Hopefully, come on, cooperate. If we see a block. um, It's fairly irregular. Okay, but there's a block that's coming down right here. As you'll see, the, the blocks kind of glitch out. Um, they still do come, but just a little bit weird. Okay, so you'll see it come right down through here. So first, the signal will be sent, and then you'll see it go through this block, through this block. But it's not going to be able to go there because there's not a block there. Not going to be able to go right there where I'm pointing right now. So instead, it's going to come right here. It's going to push this block forward. And then next time, it's going to go through here. Now, this is going to go see all the way like that. And when it's a longer pulse, um, which means that there were two blocks that went in front of it at the same time, it will conveniently push two pistons. See, there's one pushed, and another one pushed. And you'll see when this one's pushed, I've um, implemented a reset, which is just, um, it'll go up through here and around, which will push, push all of the pistons at the same time. It'll push the pistons right here, and that'll reset the entire system. Now you're about to see the last one. There it is. Okay. And then 
one more pulse and you'll be able to see the reset now the reset also incorporates this which is the entire purpose of the system um, every nine pulses because it sometimes double pulses on accident so every nine pulses it's gonna send it see right here and then it comes up here and triggers all this redstone which resets the clock entirely okay it, it actually what okay I'm just gonna do a, a quick manual reset cuz that was weird okay there we go um it just no okay um I still haven't hmm I guess I still need to work out the um timings exactly one second I'll be right back yay jump cuts okay I fixed it um now it does properly reset and I'll just do a quick um like I'll, I'll pan over the entirety of the redstone so if you want to build this you can now the biggest trick to this is get all of the redstone repeaters in the correct positions so just take a good look at those when I pass over them so let's do that now take a good look at the setup okay As you can see right now it's on five. Next time it will trigger that. See there it goes. And then just over the top with all of it. Yeah, so pretty pretty easy. Next I'll go over this system. Um so when it sends a pulse here, it's just going to take one coal out of this. And, oh yeah, I did a thing over there. You'll see. Um, so you're just going to do a, it's going to pull one coal out, as you can see. It's going to pull, and there was the reset. See how it all worked that time? Yeah. Gotta love that. So, yep, it all worked. So there it is. Every time that it goes to stage nine it's going to trigger this which is going to pull out one um, one coal now this coal is using another manipulator on the bottom of this furnace to get pumped in there uh... the rest of the furnace is pretty self-explanatory the oh yeah you'll notice that not nearly as much um, cobble is coming in because it's spawning right here now since it took off the roof so yeah, cobble comes in, and then it just gets deposited in there. It needs to be powered, and then I have a redstone clock underneath the ground. If you don't know how to do that, then check out my other video. Someone requested a tutorial, so I put one up. Um, just a flashing torch. And just go straight into this chest. So far, that much stone. Um, I think that just about wraps it up for that section. Now for the real part of it that everybody wants to know how to do. So this is actually a pretty simple setup. I made this one myself. It's probably been done before, but I don't know. I like it. So here's how it goes. You have the one arm bot being powered in the middle. Obviously, you could make this bigger and maybe make it four arm bots or something, but I think one is enough for my purposes. So you have that one arm bot going around in the middle. Now this is simple, and I mean simple to program. All you do is take an empty disk and simply type in the commands rotate, rotate, oh my gosh, I cannot type, rotate, 90, repeat. Probably the simplest program you could ever write. What this will do is it'll just do exactly what this armbot's doing. It'll go 90 degrees, and then it'll go 90 degrees another way. And each time it goes, you'll notice sometimes it lags a little bit, but it will knock off the block. Um, even if you don't see it disappear, you will see the block appear in a different place. That's why there are blocks springing up there. Um, as you can see, the lag, that one just um, got demolished. It's because this is a work in progress and it's kind of a glitch. I hope they don't patch it, but they, they might. Um, by the way, this is in volts 1.0.11. I hope it still works whenever you're watching this. 
I'll try to post updates, uh, like, in the title, like, working in 1.0.13 or whatever you're in right now. Okay, so, um, simple setup with the water and the lava. Just water in these four spots, lava in those four spots, and it should make this perfectly, like, little diamond cobblestone ring. And I am powering this through an infinite um, power source, one over here and one right here. But obviously you can power this with, with whatever. You can power it with, um, I don't know, nuclear reactor, probably a little bit overkill. Maybe one of those um, high-powered generators or high-powered solar generators. Or even if you want to be resourceful, you could just place some heat generators over the lava squares, and that would probably be adequate. So, that should um, be a pretty good explanation of that. By the way, what I mean by powering the machine is just powering these conveyor belts. It's not very power heavy. Um, not too hard to power at all. Um, just if you're making this in your survival world or in your server world, make sure to place one of these world anchors. The, you just need to place some ender pearls in it, and you're good. And then it'll collect cobblestone while you're flying. Just put 16 ender pearls in here, leave for a week, and you'll be jacked as far as cobblestone goes. Um, might want to make this feed into a double chest if you're going to leave it for a long, long time. Or even have um, alternate... You know what? I'll, I'll show you what I mean right now. Let's say you want to take this off. I'm going to do a, ma a mega expansion. So let's say you're trying to do this on a server. You might want to do something like this. You're going to have, let's see. Um, actually, I don't even know if this would work. I'm trying to think of a way to make this pump into multiple chests. You could do that with another system like that, where it would just, you could do it with an arm bot. Anyway, you know what I mean. Um, you can make it fully expandable, so... You can just have that pumping into a double chest, I guess, is adequate for now. You guys know how redstone works. You guys hopefully know by now how to make these um, these systems kind of work for you. So, yeah, just by having a double chest, leave for a day, and you'll come back with a double, or less than a day. You'll probably leave for, like, five hours, and you'd have a double chest full of stone without doing any work. No more AFK um taping down your mouse button now you can just do this and automatic cobblestone um thanks for watching i think i think that concludes this video um please like subscribe comment i hope you loved this video i think it's pretty creative it's definitely original um and become a blockhead today watch all of our videos see ya